Welcome to Computer Concordia. Uh, I don't have permission from Real Gr Grand Games or Mark Gertz, so this demo is the only thing you're going to see of Computer Concordia. Um, at least my version. So this is uh, a program for PC computers. It runs in a window. Uh, it uses Windows rather extensively. Uh, um, it uh, the screen can be repositioned by dragging. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, right clicking also zooms in and out. So we're going to start a new game. So go to the menu. All right. Let's not be stupid. New game. Uh, so only the Italy map has been implemented. You can have two to four players. They could be all human players, though typically I think you're going to play with um, computer players. Uh, game is automatically saved at the beginning of every player turn with this prefix and then the player's name and the turn number. Okay, so there's built-in help. Uh, but you don't have to look at it every time. You can check off the box and then you don't have to look at it again. Uh, so, this is so pretty much for every action or feature there's a help screen that you'll have to look at. So the computer player has built. Uh, basically the computer player is driven by what action can give us most victory points which means typically uh, architect uh, buying cart senator or uh, tributing to build more colonists and it'll pick the action that gives it the most victory points if no action it can perform will give its victory points it'll look at uh, what goods it's lacking either typically bricks uh, cash or some other good and then perform an action to increase the amount of uh, stuff it has. So, same thing with the green player. Building two cities gets 10 victory points. And now it's poor red. Uh, one, two. I guess so. First thing you have to do is pick a card. So I clicked on the card button. It shows your hand. You can also look at your discard card pile at any time. Um, cards at the beginning of the list that are grayed out are available for the diplomat. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pick diplomat, somebody else's architect. And so architect consists of two actions that has to be performed and ordered, moving all your colonists and then clicking the cities you want to build in. So to move colonists you just drag them to one of the yellow dots and so that's used all my movement points so it's automatically going to the build stage so it's telling me these are legal cities to build in though I can't afford this one right, so we'll go ahead and try that anyway nope don't have enough money not gonna let you do it so go ahead and build where we plan to so that's all I can do so click on done um, so now the computer player will typically will buy cards because that gives us the most victory points even though uh, it's going to suffer from lack of goods. Oop. Did somebody Tribune? I clicked through that rather quickly. Uh, so we got to view all. Okay, so green must Tribune and build the colonists already. That's interesting. Guess there wasn't any cards they could afford. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and prefect. Uh, so you could click on the bonus area or click on a yellow city. Um, if it was a red city, it would indicate the province is already produced and you would just get coins. And it's going to confirm you really want to 
it's going to tell you what you're going to get, what everyone else is going to get, and then ask you if you really want to do that or not. And I do. Okay, Red Just Tribune 2. How interesting. So, Green is producing. Uh, hmm. One, two. So, I want to get there. So, I'm going to need bricks. I'm looking at my cater. Uh, oops. So I'm clicking on the button to bring up the thing. So to my cater, you click, put an X, click on the goods you want to sell. When you're all done, actually do the action by clicking on the sell goods button. Tells you what you get. And now I can buy something, which in this case is obviously going to be bricks and all the bricks I can hold. And I could change my mind by clicking on these new bricks and putting them back in the pile and getting my money back. As you can see, it's going up back to 20, but I do want all those bricks. So I'll complete the action by clicking on buy bricks or buy goods. And yep. Okay, red is perfecting. I got card back. Oh, buy more cards, you scumbag. Alright, the smith is available. Okay, I want an architect. And I'll build. Very nice. Done. So, Reddit's decided he needs bricks, so he's selling this wine and he's buying some bricks. So green agrees he needs bricks too. So they got bricks, nothing else, so they're gonna have to prefect. And what am I? Well actually one, two, three, I got yeah, I have room for that. So I'm gonna prefect. Tribune again already. Alright, so Senator or Tribune. Let's see what we can do with the Senator. Okay, so as the help tells you, if there's no way you can afford it, it's going to be highlighted in red. And even then, you know, you can buy one of these cards, you may or may not be able to buy two. So we love a smith. Can we get another card too? Let's look. That's a tool and a brick. Oh wow, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, we definitely want to get that architect then. So the farmer. Ooh, wow. Farmer's pretty tempting too. Wow. That is tempting. Yeah, I'm going to get the farmer. Okay, so I selected two cards. I'm going to hit done. Now i got to get something else up. Eh. And my... What am I in right now? I'm in cloth. Okay. Yeah, the hell with the wine. Okay. So, both computer players are built again. I want to... One of each isn't really worth it. I'm going to just go ahead, Tribune. Okay. 
So I have the goods. I could build a colonist. That's what it's telling me. So I could click on one of these, or I could, I could, if I want to hold on to my goods, I could click do not, but I do want to build, and I guess we'll go with a land colonist. So red is what producing. Green is resetting production, and now. Okay. Now I have a rather empty warehouse. I need to get some stuff. Uh, so you can see how the game plays. I think it works really well. Um, the games tend to stay close for the beginning part, and then uh, I usually pull away towards the end because uh, the computer players will build immediately rather than wait to get more resources to build, typically. And I think it's also, it tends to go crazy on buying cards when it should probably be holding on to goods to save, to build its initial five cities. But that's, a lot of people play that way too, so I may be incorrect in that assumption. So, I uh, hope we can make something happen here, but uh, at the very least, I can sh I'm sh get to show off my work, so that's going to have to be good enough for now. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see what happens.